All right. So we started the recording, guys. Thank you so much. Like I was saying, for being here, for giving me your time. This is such a fangirl moment. I'm really just trying to get it out. <laughs> yeah. And happy Independence Day. Happy uh, Independence Day. Absolutely. From everyone here, I'm based out of Toronto. So everyone from Toronto, New York, and the Brown Girl diaspora to you guys and everybody in the nation. Happy All Independence right. Day. Um, cool to say something. Can I? Yeah. ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਬੰਦੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਾਰੀ ਜਨਤਾ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵਸੀ ਹੈ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਲਵ ਟੂ ਅਮ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਫਰਮ ਹੀਅਰ ਔਨ ਆਵਰ ਐਂਡ ਗਾਇਸ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਬਾਈ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਹੈਡ ਅ ਫੈਨੋਮਨਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਐਟ ਆਈਐਫਐਮ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ ਕਪਲ ਆਫ ਡੇਜ਼ ਥੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਹਾਰਟ ਫੈਲਟ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਫਰਮ ਦੀ ਆਡੀਅנס ਬਟ ਆਈ ਆਲਸੋ ਸਾ ਇਟ ਫਰਮ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਇਨ a very emotional uh video that i saw online can you guys put that in words for me how did it feel um what was going through your head abhishek saying no it's gone gone put it into words Speechless. i think that's why emotions get the better of you um, i agree you know these occasions are very overwhelming um i think partly because it's the first time i think we all saw the film in entirety right secondly because it's the only time we get to see a live audience reaction absolutely i'm like in theater film actors we work on a film set so we don't get that instant feedback yes we get that kind of pouring of love right. or appreciation or just acknowledgement yes it's very overwhelming because you know this is a labor of love that we've been working on for the last year or so and finally it's out there and when you get certain positivity back as actors and we're possibly hypersensitive um it's very overwhelming you know yeah. the, the even gets the better of you absolutely now bishik i know you've been to uh um, premieres before i know you we, you've been hosted at tiff you've brought your films here as well does it ever change that that feeling that you get from a live audience no oh, it's oh, as terrifying as always yeah because yeah. it was different you know i mean the first time i came to toronto was Uh, was for the premiere of guru i remember and that yeah then we had the premiere of manmarzia they're mm -hmm. both as different films so uh, you're always up for a judgment on a new project so it's always um it's always challenging you never overcome the the butterflies in your stomach and right. that is a good thing. yeah it's good because that means somewhere it matters you know you're not jaded about the whole process and you're not complacent it makes yeah. it difference you're still alive and you're wanting to do well yeah it's a, it defines your hunger and the newness that comes with each project now i know for unga oh, well, have some samosa <laughs> oh i'd love to i would love to <laughs> thank you um for simon unga this was your first first premiere i have never been to a film festival before so yes this was for my film first festival yes yes film festival and so, how was it did you get any good. tips or were you just kind of going in there blindly just kind of trying to get it all take it all in Yes uh, for me um, you know I've uh, I've had a very it's not a, it's not the same reaction but I have been like I was part of a film called Pink which was directed by Shujit Sarkar yeah and I when I went for the screening of it and they had the screening and I was part of my I remember the first screening that I went to because then you know the emotion seeps into you and then you get used to it was there was pin drop silence so people were exiting quiet exiting quiet was they were trying to like just you know shake your hand and move away it's quiet right. this is the first time ever yeah like that i have seen people and it was a i think it was a 400 capacity or 500 capacity seat wow. and everybody just stood up right turned around and clapped and you could just if you see their eyes it just felt like you, you know they were just expressing themselves in the best way possible Right. and that was really surreal for a person like me because uh, not something that i've experienced i've experienced this once when uh india not even uh, uh, won the world cup against sri lanka right so how like uh and i was in that stand and mm -hmm. i just remember that there was more noise there but again that happiness and that emotion where the tears were welling up absolutely kind of, and i, I think told you that angad gives these really elaborate answers and halfway through his answer the both of us forget what the question was yes. <laughs> <laughs> i 
I think I was really focused. Question. Yeah, what was the question? Uh, have you been to a film festival? Okay, have you? Uh, I My first, debut film uh, uh, premiered at the BFI. Yes, and, okay. Uh, it's uh, Boomer at uh, the Melbourne Film Festival. Right. But it's always a festival and it's, uh, it's, your, it's the first time we saw the film together. Right. So it's, it's nerve-wracking, the least to say. Yeah. And all of the special. For sure. Now, obviously, uh, it also defi defines the impact that the film, the subject matter, the characters have, right? So with that, I want to talk a little bit more about the film itself. Can you guys give me a well, quick back? They've just come with their samosas. And I get it. I get it. No, you're okay. This, this is great. I'm telling you, this is the most chill an interview. No, this is the most chill an interview has been. All my butterflies and nerves are out the window, guys. Keep doing you, please. Um mm -hmm. Simon, since the boys are eating, can we get you to give us a quick synopsis? Oh. Of work? <laughs> yes, what you were saying. Sorry, what? I didn't get what you said. Oh, a uh, quick synopsis of Goomer. All right, so Goomer is a film which is very, very close to my heart because right. it is a film about uh, this athlete who was going to play for India, but she suffers this injury, and it's about her comeback. And this comeback happens, it's a tragic accident she goes through and the comeback happens because someone pulls her out of there and that someone is Paddy, that's uh, Abhishek Bachchan's character, Padam Singh Sodhi. Yes. I feel uh, it's, it, it, the backdrop of this film is cricket, but the heart of the film is a crime story, it's a story against all odds, it's a story about... A crime uh, story? Crime, crime. So, it's the samosas. But uh, yeah, the, the backdrop is cricket, but I feel the heart of it is the relationship to the coach, the boyfriend, the grandmother. There's a lot more to it with cricket as its backdrop. Absolutely. Now, paraplegic athletes, of course, it's an ode to them. They're the inspiration there to the country and to have them keep pushing the envelope to, envelope to do better, right? How do you feel um, the film can change that landscape for both paraplegic athletes and cricket as a sport in the nation, if in any way? Uh, so I'm play, playing a differently abled athlete and the uniqueness of this film, I feel, Balkisa has managed to not make it about the disability in any way because he's right. kept it, it's a, the way, if you've seen the trailer, you see uh, Paddy, Amy's character, is extremely insensitive, if I can say, to Anina, my character. Yeah. Yeah. It's because he doesn't think she's any less. He thinks that she can make it to the team on her own uh, merit if right. she works Away. So yeah. that's the uniqueness with regards to the approach. And uh, a few uh, uh, para athletes of India who've seen the trailer reached out to me, and they were actually very happy with the approach because they said we don't like sympathy and we don't like to be looked upon as different different athletes because we are athletes, we are competitive. Mm -hmm. So I feel lucky that uh, Balkisa went down that route. And with regards to cricket, we are hoping that uh, we can give back to cricket. That was Balkisa's aim because we tried to. Uh, invent a new delivery, which is called Boomer, that you know when you Absolutely. Now, coming to... Uh, Sorry? It was a bad joke. Naughty Panesh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Panesh. a bad joke. Yes. No, no. Yeah. no, not at all. Yes, I haven't heard that one in a really long time. We share the same uh -huh. last name. But not in an interview about cricket. No, not at all. Not at all. Thank you for bringing... Not a bad joke at <laughs> all. Um, coming to characters. Well, because... you got it. Yeah. She just got it. She just got it. She was like, okay, let me, let me try to deflect this. Yeah. She just got it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Um, okay, talking about characters, because uh, Saimi, you mentioned Anina. We'll come back to Anina. But Anged, I recently read an interview about you talking about Jeet, who is, plays Anina's partner, and how you said it's really a glimpse of the real Anged, the real life Anged. So how do you prepare to bring the real life everyday Anged onto the real, into the real life or on screen? What does that prep look like? Uh, it's a very... It's, it's, an, it's a good question. Uh, I just, the real, the thing is that sometimes you, you don't get parts like this every single day. Right. Uh, my only brief to me from Balkisa was that whatever you, however you speak, whatever you feel, make sure you bring that emotion to this film. Yeah. And, uh, well, honestly, my hiring a girl like Neha Dupe really helps. Because, you know, most of the time I get scolded by her. Uh, 
So I love her, uh, by the way. <laughs> like here again, Anina's uh, Anina's character is like really you know giving it off to Jeet many a time. So right. it kind of kind of natural, and I felt you know I'm you know I'm at home most of the time. <laughs> I'm, and I'm assuming the filming process was so seamless and fun and easy. That's how it is. Absolutely. That's how it is. Real and real. <laughs> I got the last question cue, so I'm going to direct this both to Abhishek and Siami. Um, I want to know a little bit about, about your characters, both of you. Um, the prep, how you guys got into it, uh, the nitty gritty, the meat of it. Please tell me before we have to sign off. As soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> We're still working on it? Yeah, I, I, still, I don't know. I just show up, man. I just show up. The director gives me my sides. I read the dialogues and that's it. And you're a natural. And you're you're like this shape shifter. No, I'm, I'm not natural. I'm just lucky. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I've been following your choreograph since I was like, since your first film, Refugee. Trust me. I was like two she was no, about was to say. Just, and then she no, was no, like... No. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is... No. Okay, um, for for Paddy, there wasn't much physical prep required. Right, right. You know, it was more about just getting his look right. So, he, you know, we, we worked at this very disheveled kind of a look. Yeah. They dyed my hair with, um, you know, white streaks and all that. So he looked a bit over the hill. They did a lot of makeup to make him look, um, you know, like either drunk or, or hungover. Um, you know, the look has to be that of that life has had the better of you. And um, then we realized that uh, I'm, I'm looking freakishly like Balki. So I said, okay, uh, <laughs> Balki was the inspiration for the look. That was the only prep. Right. Apart from that, I mean, he was just such a fun guy to play. Right. You know, um, he's just like, like she said before, he's insensitive, he's brazen, he's brash, he's acerbic, yeah. um, he's nasty. But what you realize through the film is, despite being all of this, actually, that's his way of just making it very normal for her. Right. Yeah. He differentiate whether she's a boy or girl, whether she has two arms or one arm. He just makes it very normal. So right. he treats her exactly the same way he would treat anybody else. And at right. first, that comes across as offensive. Yeah. But later on, we realize that that actually is what gives her the power and the self belief to believe that she's as good as everyone else. Gotcha. I like that about him. Absolutely. That's so powerful in itself. And Simi, uh, parting notes on Anina before I let you guys go. Oh, even Anina is is a very 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 close to my heart and very special because I've gotten to play a sport that I really enjoy. I've been playing it since I was a child. So right. just getting to the sport on screen and um, besides the sport, it was uh, emotionally very demanding because of what the character goes through. So it is one of the most uh, special characters I've played physically. I obviously had to learn how to play cricket with my left hand. Uh, but I wish that we had not finished shoot so soon because I really enjoyed shoot. As you can see, this is what it was. This is great. It seems like so much fun. Um, and with and that... Sandhu and I were eating and she would just do the talking. <laughs> um, this, is, this was great, guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank, you. thank you. Enjoy the film. I hope you like the film. Definitely. Keep killing it, guys. Uh, good luck. And I can't wait to thank see you. it. Uh, thank you so much, thank guys. Thank you. Talk Take you. care. Bye. You too. Bye, guys. Not bad behavior. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks, Sandeep. See Thanks you soon. Natasha.